Hey everyone, welcome back to Hi Mama's online activity content hub. As the leads start to change, now's a really great time to start collecting them and introduce children to symmetry. Look at these wonderful symmetrical leaves I've created. There's lots of different colors too. For this activity, you will need some leaves. You can either find some on the ground outside or there are some available in a dollar store or a craft store. I've actually found these ones on the ground and I found ones that are pretty symmetrical, meaning that they look mirror image from one side to the other. You're gonna need some paper to draw on, some scissors, you'll need some clear tape and some pencil crayons here. I tried my best to match the pencil crayons to the colors that I was uh, using for the leaves there. The very first thing that we need to do for this activity after we've collected our leaves is cut them in half. So I have my child save scissors here and we are going to cut our leaf in half. The easiest way to start talking about symmetry and learning about symmetry is just to cut something right up the middle. If you start with a diagonal symmetrical line or sometimes even um, a horizontal like this that may be a little bit tricky for children to understand so we're going to start with just going up and down the middle creating a half like that the next thing once we've cut our leaf what we're going to do is we're going to put it on our paper using some clear tape so decide on which side you want to use we're going to take our clear tape and tape it down Put it on the back of our leaf and right in the middle of the page, making sure there's enough room on either side for the child to trace it. There we go. And I like to leave the leaf here just for reference so that when the child is tracing the leaf, it's a little bit easier to get that mirror image. You can even put it all the way together and trace the outline as a rough outline like that. Or if you like the added challenge, you can do it like this. Another thing that you can do is get a mirror or a um, clear divider and kind of put it in the middle right here so that you can see the mirror image. Perfect, so I'm just going over my leaf like that. And you wanna encourage children to take what they see on this side and replicate it on the other. Once they've got the skeleton of the leaf, you can go ahead and find the lines within the leaf. So this one down here is quite faint, but it would look something like that. This one would continue here and so on. Once they have the lines within the leaf, they can start to color it in. And I have a little bit of browning on my leaf here, which happened on this side as well at the bottom. So you can always switch up colors and make that brown mark there. So it's not super symmetrical but it does have some brown spots and towards the top there too. So have your child color in the leaf and soon enough, you will have something that looks like this. So I have all of my leaf halves here and uh, they look really nice, especially with the fall colors. You can try this with different uh, natural elements such as flowers or sticks or stems, pretty much anything you can get your hands on. Show us how your symmetrical leaves look.